I'm Sarah from Boo Room Ticker 2 and today I'm here to talk all things smart meters. We had our smart meter installed about a month or so ago and since then I've received a couple of questions about what a smart meter is, how it works in your home etc. So I thought this would be a great chance just to try and answer a couple of those questions for everyone. energy providers across the UK are offering householders the opportunity to replace their existing traditional gas and electricity meters with smart meters which will work alongside an in-home display meter to provide near real-time information. So a smart meter basically is a digital um, meter that replaces your traditional gas and electricity um, dial faced meters. The smart meters um, are housed in the same cupboard that you would normally have your other ones in, so whether they're inside the home or just outside like ours are, and they replace the need for householders to submit meter readings on a regular basis, which means the end of estimated bills. Smart meters work hand in hand with a in-home display meter, which looks a bit like this. Um, they vary in style, but they all perform the same functions. They provide the same information for households, as well as all the statistics and everything else that you need for how much energy you've used, how much that energy is costing you. And you can also go back and track to see how much energy you used last week and the week before before that and so on. So you can see whether or not you're decreasing your energy usage, which is a good thing, or if you're actually spending a bit more and then you can think to yourself, well, what have we done more in the last week? Have I put the tumble dryer on too much? Or, you know, have we had guests round so I've had the oven on twice as much as I would normally and such like. So you can see um, almost real time how much you're spending and how much energy that is that, that's been consumed either from your gas or your electricity. When you do get your smart meter installed and you get the in-home display meter, um, we were given a leaflet by um, E.ON which was really useful because on one side of it that showed us obviously how to use the in-home display meter although the engineer had kindly sort of talked me through it and showed me the different functions and everything else it's like anything you don't really take it in at the time you kind of sort of nod and say oh yes that's wonderful and um, but the leaflet showcases all the information on one side and then on the other side is um, a monthly tracker so that highlights we can sort of document how much energy we've used each day and then obviously across the week and then again across the month to make sure um, how much energy we're using and to see whether or not we're reducing our energy usage and in turn obviously reducing our energy bill prices um, and on there is some really good top tips about um, how you can obviously save energy around the home the obvious ones are switching lights off switching your bulbs to energy saving bulbs instead of the traditional ones um, ensuring that you're using the appliances to their maximum efficiency so only switching the washing machine on when it's full the same with the dishwasher only filling your kettle um, with the, the amount of water that you need to make that particular drink but then other things like using your oven do you need to use your oven for making that meal or could it be used in it could you cook that meal in a different way so a lot of microwaves now are combination ones so you can actually you can cook a chicken in there for example I've not tried myself but I really need to because I've seen how much my oven costs to run so I'm intrigued to see how much that equates differently when if I use my microwave instead um, but they are just some of the ways that you can help sort of reduce the amount of energy you're using um, across your average sort of daily life as well.